dear students now we have everything required for the determination of equilibrium level of income and output in the two sector economy consisting of households and firms now we have stated the condition for equilibrium as aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand that is y is equal to e since e is equal to c plus i so y is equal to c plus i aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand can also be written as actual expenditure is equal to desired desired expenditure actual expenditure is equal to desired expenditure now c is specified as equal to a plus b y i is assumed to be exogenous i bar in the model y and c are endogenous variables whose values are determined within the model and i is exogenous i is not determined by forces within the economy it is independent of the level of income and these equations are known as the structural equations because these equations depict the structure of relationship between variables in the economy that is y is equal to c plus i c is equal to a plus b y are known as the structural equations because they depict the structure of relationship between variables in the economy the third one is i is equal to i bar is the third equation now we substitute the values of c and i here then you will get y as equal to a plus b y plus i bar and y minus b y is equal to a plus i bar or y is equal to 1 by 1 minus b into a plus i bar and i write it as y bar so the equilibrium level of income is equal to 1 by 1 minus b into a plus i bar and equilibrium level of consumption can be obtained as a plus b into y is equal to 1 by 1 minus b into a plus i bar substituting the value of i bar you will get equilibrium level of consumption as equal to a plus b into uh, 1 by 1 minus b into a plus i bar this can be written as equal to a by 1 minus b plus solving this you will get it as b by 1 minus b i or i bar c is equal to a by 1 minus b plus b by 1 minus b i bar or can also be written as equal to from this a plus b by 1 minus b into a plus i bar from this or of this so this is equilibrium level of consumption so mathematically if the values of the parameters a and b are given and also if the value of i the exogenous i is given we can determine equilibrium values of y and c the endogenous variables in the model 
in words given the demand for i which is exogenously determined by the expectations of entrepreneurs if y is equal to y bar then this output and the corresponding income is the equilibrium level of income and output equilibrium level of income and output let us depict this graphic depictly we depict it graphically like this y c plus y or simply e Ag or aggregate supply aggregate demand actual expenditure desired expenditure it is written in many ways the 45 degree line where y is equal to e 45 degree line along the 45 degree line actual expenditure is equal to desired expenditure or aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand now the consumption schedule is given c is equal to a plus b y the linear consumption schedule c is equal to a plus b y with the, the intercept a and slope is equal to b which is known as the marginal propensity to consume now we assume that i is equal to i bar i is constant at all levels of income i is exogenous it is independent of the level of income it is parallel to the x axis and desired investment is exogenous in the model whatever is the level of income desired expenditure is same now we add this desired expenditure to the consumption function we have the c plus i schedule with the intercept a plus i bar a plus i bar intercept is a plus i bar we have the aggregate demand schedule c plus i bar now this aggregate demand schedule has two characteristics one is its intercept is the sum of two autonomous components autonomous consumption a autonomous investment i bar and the slope of this aggregate demand schedule is the marginal propensity to consume mbc delta c by delta y now the aggregate supply is given by the 45 degree line and uh, equilibrium occurs when aggregate supply equals aggregate demand that is where c plus i schedule aggregate demand schedule intersects the 45 degree line that is y bar y bar equilibrium occurs when aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand this is given by point e e where y is equal to y bar and the corresponding consumption is c is equal to c bar now this is how equilibrium level of income and output is determined in the two sector economy that is equilibrium is determined by equality between aggregate supply and aggregate demand to illustrate these points further let us reconsider this graph once more now we reconsider this once more um, <coughs> this is e or c plus i y 45 
डिग्री लाइन C C प्लस I Y इज इक्वल टू E Y इज इक्वल टू E नाउ ये क्लेम रिम इज डिटरमिनेंट हियर Y बार Y बार ये क्लेम रिम इज डिटरमिनेंट नाउ ये कंसीडर ये लेवल ऑफ इनकम व्हिच इज लोअर देन Y बार अनदर लेवल ऑफ इनकम व्हिच इज हायर देन Y बार ये लेवल ऑफ इनकम लोअर देन Y बार से Y1 अनदर वन से Y2 as you can see at a level of income y1 aggregate demand is given as say y1 a a this is b this is c let now as you can see at a level of income y1 aggregate demand is is given by a y1 aggregate supply is b y1 so aggregate demand exceeds aggregate supply by an amount equal to ab so there is excess demand if there is excess demand that is if the demand is greater than supply there will be undesired undesired inventory depletion undesired inventory depletion and delta h u undesired change in inventory is will be negative here delta h u is negative now consider this point y2 d e f now here aggregate demand is given by e y2 aggregate supply is d y2 so aggregate supply exceeds aggregate demand by d e so there is delta h u now positive here here undesired inventory accumulation will take place undesired inventory accumulation will take place so in this case entrepreneurs businessmen will reduce production in the first case as there is depletion of inventories entrepreneurs will increase production until y bar is reached in the second case as unind inventory accumulation is taking place entrepreneurs will cut back production and equilibrium returns to y bar now we can specify this equilibrium using the second condition that s is equal to i or s is equal to i bar we have stated the equilibrium in terms of saving investment equality c plus i is equal to c plus s or i is equal to s and i bar is equal to s because i is taken as a constant exogenous c plus i bar is equal to c plus s or i bar is equal to s to see that consider this level of income y bar investment is i is equal to i bar and this is the point where as you can see where zero savings savings is zero now the saving function is 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 given as the saving function is given as this is the saving function y2 y1 now in terms of saving in investment equality equilibrium level of income is again given as y bar and at a level of income equal to y1 saving is 
is is less than investment so aggregate demand exceeds aggregate supply by this distance at a y2 savings exceeds investment given by this distance so there is inventory accumulation in both cases equilibrium level of income will be restored at a y bar in the first case producers producers will step up production and in the second case producers will reduce the level of output so this is how equilibrium level of income and output is determined in the simple keynesian model of income determination where equilibrium level of income is determined by equality between aggregate supply and aggregate demand and investment is assumed to be exogenous this is how we determine equilibrium level of income at a point in time and in the next class we will consider what happens to equilibrium level of income and output when there is a change in aggregate demand